In this video, we'll be talking about asking clinical questions that are answerable. One of the key concepts of evidence-based medicine is being able to find evidence to use in your clinical decision-making. Finding evidence is dependent on being able to ask the right question. In general, there are two types of questions. Background questions ask for general knowledge. These are questions like, what are the symptoms of monkeypox? or when should women start getting mammograms, or how do you treat acne vulgaris? Background questions are usually simple to ask and can usually be best answered by using a textbook or online point of care tool like Dynamed. Foreground questions are asking for specific information. These are questions where you are looking for answers to apply to a patient. The answers will help you with clinical decision making. Foreground questions are frequently complicated. So what makes a good clinical foreground question? They are directly relevant to the problem at hand, focused and well articulated, and phrased to facilitate searching for a precise answer. These qualities will help you to find the exact information needed amongst the millions of articles available. PICO is a model to help you formulate good clinical foreground questions that are answerable. PICO is an acronym that stands for Patient, Population, or Problem, Intervention, Prognostic Factor, or Exposure, Comparison, and Outcome of Interest. Thinking about your question using these elements will help you find better answers. Sometimes even using the PICO model is not enough to narrow your results. At times, expert searchers also use one or more of these additional elements. This is sometimes referred to as the PCOTS model and takes into consideration the type of question you may have, such as therapy or diagnosis, time elements related to the study, such as retrospective or prospective research, and study type, such as randomized clinical trial or meta-analysis. You can learn more about these extra elements on the Levels of Evidence and Clinical Filters pages of the UIC Evidence-Based Medicine Guide. Now, let's look at a scenario and think of some possible clinical questions. A 55-year-old female with a history of hypertension had sudden onset of chest pain and shortness of breath with swelling in her right leg for two days since she returned from vacation. She is taking estrogens and atenolol. She had a VQ scan at the hospital which read as high probability for pulmonary embolism. She was started on Lovenox and treatment with Coumadin was initiated at the hospital. She was sent home in stable condition. She has now been on Coumadin for six months. You might have many different clinical questions related to this patient. Let's look at a few possibilities using the PICO model. A possible diagnosis question could be, in patients with suspected pulmonary embolism, is a VQ scan as sensitive and specific as pulmonary angiography in diagnosing pulmonary embolism? In this question, our P element is patients suspected of pulmonary embolism. Our intervention is a diagnostic test or the VQ scan. We want to compare it to another diagnostic tool, pulmonary angiography. And the outcome that we are interested in is the diagnosis of pulmonary embolism. In this question, we also see the phrase sensitive and specific. This is making use of the type of question element, in this case, diagnosis. A possible therapy question could be, in patients with known risk factors and a high probability of pulmonary embolism, how does a six-month treatment with anticoagulants compare to a treatment period of three months in preventing recurrent thrombosis? In this example, our patient has known risk factors and a high probability of pulmonary embolism. We are interested in comparing the treatment that was used six months on an anticoagulant to a shorter treatment period of just three months. And the outcome we are looking at is preventing recurrent thrombosis. 
Now let's try an example where we look at the PICO elements first and use them to write a natural language question. We want to know more about how our patient's estrogen therapy relates to pulmonary embolism risk. This is an etiology question. So let's think about the elements and fill them in with relevant information for this question. What aspect of our patient is important to us for this question? In our other examples, we were looking at aspects of the patient related to their hypertension. However, maybe in this case we don't want to focus on patients with known hypertension. Maybe we want to look more generally at the demographics of this patient. Let's say we are interested in the population of postmenopausal women. This is still specific to our patient, but not to their chronic disease. Next, the intervention we want to know more about is the estrogen that the patient is taking. We could simply use estrogen as our intervention, but since we aren't sure if this might be too specific, let's look more broadly at hormone replacement therapy, or HRT. Our comparison is simple in this question. We want to look at HRT versus no HRT. And finally, the outcome that we are interested in is risk for pulmonary embolism. In natural language, our PICO elements might be phrased as, in postmenopausal women on hormone replacement therapy, as opposed to those not on HRT, is there a greater risk for pulmonary embolism? Now that we have a general idea of how to ask good clinical questions using the PICO model, it is important to remember that the PICO model is only a model and it will not work perfectly in all situations. It is simply a tool to get you started in the right direction. Sometimes that will be all you need. Other times you will need to be flexible in your use of the model. Also, remember that evidence-based medicine is a process after you formulate your question, you'll move on to searching for the information to answer the question, most likely in a database like PubMed. Frequently, you'll need to revise your search or your question depending on the results of your initial search. Expert searchers know that the best searches take time and multiple revisions. In summary, there are generally two types of questions, general knowledge, or background questions, and specific knowledge, or foreground questions. Foreground questions tend to be more complicated and benefit from being relevant to the problem at hand, focused and well articulated, and phrased to facilitate searching for a precise answer. PICO is a model to help you formulate answerable foreground questions. PICO stands for Patient Intervention Comparison and outcome.